welcome to SYNCAP's Walkthrough Wednesdays. For today, we will be talking about our filtering and segmentation feature. I am Joanna and I'll be your host for today. And with me is our support team together with our development team for any questions that you might have. Please feel free to open up any questions throughout the webinar in our chat box and our support team will be glad to help you out. So, what are we going to cover for today? Firstly, we will be covering about the filtering and segmentation feature. Next, I'll be talking to you on how you can use our SYNCAP's filtering and segmentation feature. Nextly, I will also be showcasing a use case scenario. And lastly, we will be having a Q&A portion for this webinar. So what is filtering and segmentation? SYNCAP's filtering and segmentation is actually one of our most powerful features. With this feature, you can sync specific records that you can set according to the criteria with ease. So this feature actually takes all of your CRM records and filter them accordingly to what you have set as a criteria to what integration needs you would want. Then SYNCAPS will filter that according to your setup requirement and filter your records accordingly. So how can you use, how do you use filtering and segmentation feature? Firstly, you'll have to set up Salesforce. You'll have to create a Salesforce campaign and add the records to that campaign. Nextly, you will have to set up sync apps, wherein you will need to select, <laughs> apologies about that. So secondly, you will have to set up sync apps, wherein you will need to select Salesforce campaign over in step one. Next, you will also have to set up your filtering criteria over in step five of your sync profile. Third, you will have to sync now and, and let SYNCAPS integrate your data accordingly. Lastly, all you have to do is review and check your constant contact account if the integration have gone smooth. So, this is an example of creating an email campaign in Salesforce. You'll have to input your email campaign's name for my example for today, I will be using the SYNCAPS filtering and segmentation test campaign just to see how the filter and segmentation feature actually works. Next, it is important to set your campaign as an active campaign in Salesforce. This is for SYNCAPS to read all of those active campaigns and display them accordingly in step one of your SYNC profile. Nextly, you will have to add your email campaign members. So in this case, I have added five members in my campaign, four of which are under Kazumi email marketing, and one is under DigiGirls marketing. So now this is where you will have to set up your Sync Apps account for your Sync profile. Over in step one, you must select the checkbox I have highlighted there to sync the campaign or list members to a constant contact list. By selecting the specific campaigns to sync, this will automatically show up. So I will select the SYNCAPS filtering and segmentation test campaign that I have just created in Salesforce. So it's important again to actually um, create an active campaign so that SYNCAPS will display this campaign over in step one in the sync profile right here. Nextly, skipping to step five, which is our filter and segmentation, all you have to do is enable that feature from Salesforce to constant contact. Next, you will have to select a field that you would want to filter or the criteria. You will have to select that on the drop down here. So in my case, I created the email address or I've selected the email address. 
Nextly, on the second drop-down, you will have to select the criteria for that type of field. So, email address will be containing at kazumi.com. So this just means that I want to take my records in that Salesforce campaign and filter them accordingly to this email address that contains the Kazumi um, email. That is already one filter added. Now if you want to add additional filters or additional segmentation, you can do so. So here I will be enabling segmentation. So I just created two segments, namely Kazumi emails and DJ Girls emails. This just means that I will take those Salesforce records and filter them accordingly to the email address that contains at kazumi.com and to DJ Girls emails, which contains at at djgirls.ph. Also, the segment name will automatically create and separate email lists in your constant contact account. I'll show that to you later. Nextly, you will have to sync now or press on the sync now button to let sync apps integrate your data accordingly. Once done, you can head over to constant contact and review and check if that record that you have selected in Salesforce have been successfully integrated into constant contact. Now, I have DG Girls emails here which contains one record. That record is from the Salesforce campaign. And the Kazumi emails list which contains four records that has already, that is also been in our um, Salesforce campaign. So total of five records um, integrated. So a very successful use case scenario for this feature is I am doing an event spot with my marketing automation and I have a thousand records in my CRM. I'd like to filter these records and segment them accordingly to a geographic criteria. So SyncApps will automatically select your thousand records, filter them accordingly to the specified criteria that you have set up in step five of your Sync profile, and segment and filter them accordingly to the state or geographic location of that specific record. In this case, if you have, if you have set up three filters or three segments, Sync Apps will automatically create that and segment that for you. And with this three different segments or three different campaigns, you can then select a specific email campaign over in your marketing automation software. For pricing, our filtering and segmentation feature is unavailable for our free plan, but it is, all, but it is available in our paid plans um, so for only $10 as an add-on, and it is already included in our professional and enterprise plans. So do you have any questions? For the team here, we will be glad to help you out. Also, please note that this webinar is currently recorded for marketing purposes. You can replay and relive our webinar, um, which we will be posting on Friday in our blog post at kazumi.com. So if you have any further questions um, after this webinar, you can always shoot a message at our 24-7 support rockstars at support at kazumi.com and we will be glad to help you out there. So I believe that this concludes our Walkthrough Wednesday series for today which we have featured our filtering and segmentation feature. Thank you all for joining us and we hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!